morning I'm, I'm actually vlogging here from um, overlooking Port Moon Bay. Um, I did a vlog here just um, last week or so. Um, I'm back up again for sunrise, but what I've actually done is moved um, a little bit further around to the left. So I'm actually overlooking the bay itself. And the aim today is to actually get a shot looking back out that way um, towards Rathlin. Uh, there's a lovely, amazing sweep of a bend here, um, which I'm hoping to get in the frame as well. I'm shooting extremely wide. I'm shooting with 16 mil on here at the minute, and I'm just about uh, just about getting everything everything in the, the frame that I need to be. So the plan is it's, it's probably about half an hour before sunrise. Um, we've been up here for maybe about um, maybe a guts of an hour already, and the, it's starting to brighten up quite well. The sky is looking quite promising. Um, there's a little bit of colour appearing just above the horizon and quite a lot of cloud, but I'm hoping that as soon as the sun starts to come up, it might actually brighten up that cloud and uh, might get a, a really nice sunrise this morning. I'm going to chat really quickly just about the, the camera settings um, and the filter settings that I'm using today. Um, as I said, 16-35mm lens on, shooting it wide at 16mm, um, shooting at ISO 50 um, and also at f11. At the minute, on front of the lens, I have the, the Lee filter system, so I have the Lee holder, I have the, the Lee circular polarizer. I also have a, a 0 0.9 very hard grad, um, which because, it, because of the difference in the sky, there's a, an extremely bright part just above the horizon, so the very hard grad um, is it, doing its best to hold back as much of the color as I can. Um, with that, what I might actually have to do is actually bracket a few different exposures, just because there is such a difference between the, the brightness just hanging above the horizon and then the, the bay here just down below me um, is actually still quite dark. So even with the filters, there is a bit of an extreme difference in, um, in the, the dynamic range. So um, probably what I'll be doing is, is actually firing off maybe two or three different exposures, bracket the exposures and then blending them together um, in Photoshop afterwards. Also on the lens, I have a Lee 0.9 ND filter. So that's just slowing my shutter down. What I'm looking for, the sea is quite calm, but I really, really love just a nice, um, really glassy, smooth kind of look to it. So um, at the minute, the exposure time is somewhere between 15 and 20 seconds. So that's just helping to, to create a really nice glassy effect, which um, is gonna hopefully look really well in the, in the final image. So this is the actual view I have here this morning. Just gonna pan round. Just let you see. So this is the actual bay that I was talking about. And um, just with Port Moon, the little bothy just down into the left hand side. And you can see the sweep layer, the arc of the shoreline, and then looking back along the cliffs and the headlands back towards White Park Bay and, and Ballantoy and you can even make out Sheep Island away in the very distance there. So we've got a little bit more colour starting to appear in the sky now. Um, the clouds are starting to take on a little bit of that colour and a little bit more detail. So I'm going to get firing off some exposures here and um, I think this is going to be a really, really nice sunrise. So the sun has actually come up and the light is absolutely amazing here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to really quickly try and get round to this other headland and hopefully get some morning light just hitting across this, uh, this headland across to the right hand side. So I've made my way around to the other side of the bay here. Uh, as you can see, the light is absolutely amazing. So, so, so nice. Just early morning light. Uh, the sun has just come up maybe about five minutes ago. I'm um, just going to swing around here so you can probably see me. So, sun's come up just about five minutes ago. I'm actually not shooting directly into the sun. I'm shooting this way. So I'm getting all this lovely side lighting. Um, just hitting all the cliffs, looking right the way the whole, whole way across the bay. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, loads of detail in the sky. The sky, the, the clouds are quite dark, which is giving um, 
quite a nice wee bit of, uh, of drama and moodiness to it. Um, I've actually swapped off the, the very hard grad and I'm on now to just a 0.9 um, soft edge grad filter. Still got the 0.9 ND on as well, so I'm still getting quite a, quite a long exposure. I think I'm up around about 13 seconds or so at the minute.